All right, the objective for this lesson is that you'll be able to find percent of increase or decrease. So these notes are from Chapter 6.3, Part B in our textbook. Here's the formula that we're going to be using for this. Difference over original amount equals percent over 100. So this is right in line with all the other proportions we've been working on. We've done is over of equals percent over 100. Part over whole equals percent over 100. And now we have difference over original amount. If you've ever seen the TV show The Biggest Loser, then you've seen percent of change. This, on The Biggest Loser, they don't just measure how much weight you've lost. They don't say you're the biggest winner because you've lost 100 pounds. They tell you your percent of weight loss. Right, so that it it's varies based upon your starting weight. You know, someone who weighs, you know, 300 pounds when they start out is going to have to lose more weight than somebody who starts out at 200 pounds. So you can't just measure how much weight you've lost. You got to measure your percent of weight loss. So the example I have here says: Last week I weighed 230 pounds. This week I weighed 224 pounds. What is my percentage of weight loss? So difference, hopefully everyone knows that difference in terms of math means subtract. So we have two values, my weight from last week and my current weight. So the difference, I'm going to subtract 230 minus 224 to get 6. The original weight or the starting weight is what I weighed last week. That was 230 pounds equals, we're trying to find percent in all these problems, so our x is always going to be above 100. So again, all we're doing for this is, for percent of change, is we're trying to find the difference between two numbers, and we put it over the original amount. So it's really as simple as just subtracting two numbers. And we want, to, we want this number to be positive, so always just going to subtract the biggest number minus the smallest number. And now, just like we've been doing in this entire chapter, we're going to do cross multiply divide. So 6 times 100 divided by 230. Punching it in my calculator right now. And I got 2.61% if I round it to the hundreds. Now we have to add one other piece of information to our answer here. If I told you that your percent of weight change was 2.61 percent you wouldn't know if that if you gained weight or lost weight so we have to say whether this is an increase or a decrease so last week I weighed 230 this week I weighed 224 so this is a decrease the value went down we have to add either increase or decrease to our answer so the answer is a 2.61 percent decrease Here's two more examples. Find the percent of change from $20 to $15. So same thing, we're doing difference, which I'm just going to abbreviate as D-I-F-F -F over O-R-I-G, or the original amount, equals percent over 100. So the difference between $20 and $15 is obviously $5. The original amount, or the starting amount, I went from 20 to 15. So where did I start at? What was the original amount? 20. So my original amount is $20. And I'm trying to find the percent. And again, it's just CMD, cross multiply and divide. So I have 500 divided by 20, which gives me 25 percent and now I have to say was it an increase or decrease I went from 20 to 15 did I go up or down B for down so this is a decrease as a shortcut if you want I'll let you just put a D for a decrease and an I for an increase example number two Find the percent of change from 20 yards to 13 yards. So I'm going from 20 to 13. The difference between those is 7 yards. 
the original amount I went from 20 to 13 so the original is 20 yards trying to find percent over 100 again I just cross multiply and divide so I have 700 divided by 20 which gives me 35 percent and again I have to add the increase or decrease part went from 20 to 13 so I decreased and again if you want you can just put a D for decreased All right, example number three. Gas was $1.30 per gallon in 1970 and three ninety five dollars per gallon in 2008. Find the percent of change. So I went from $1.30 per gallon in 1970 to three ninety five dollars per gallon in 2008. So the difference between those, I'm just going to subtract three ninety five dollars minus one. 30 which gives me a difference of 265 so that's my difference the original amount was a dollar 30 back in 1970 that was the starting amount trying to find percent cross multiply and divide So 2.65 times 100 divided by 1.3, and I got 203.85%. Did the price go up or down? Went up, so that's an increase, indicated with an I. In our last example, a DVD player cost $345 10 years ago and cost $45 today. Find the percent of change. This is true. The first DVD player I bought was in 1995 or 1999 and I think that's about what I paid for it, $345. I think today you could probably get one for less than $45 if it's not a Blu-ray. So the difference between the two prices, 345 minus 45 is $300. That's the change in value. The original amount was $345. X over 100. Cross multiply and divide. And my calculator says... 86.96% and that is a decrease in cost, right? So 86.96% decrease. Alright, so that's all the examples. Hopefully these are pretty simple. You're just subtracting the two values to find the difference putting what the starting value was or the original value and then doing CMD. So here's a practice problem you can try on your own. So if you want to pause this and try it, then hit play again and I'll work through it with you. All right, so three months ago, Allison could walk two miles in 40 minutes. Today, she can walk two miles in 25 minutes. Find the percent of change. Does the two miles matter in this problem? Well, the answer is no, except that it matters that it's the same distance. So we're comparing two equal things. But the values we're going to use are the 40 and the 25. That's our what we're going to get our percent of change. So the difference between 40 and 25 is 15. The original value, the starting value, three months ago was 40 minutes. X over 100 cross multiply and divide so 15 times 100 divided by 40 is 37.5 percent and did her time go up or down went from 40 to 25 so went down so that's a decrease 
So that wraps up this lesson on percent change. Mr. Bywater is out.